Hi everyone, karibu ni sana to the channel. Tumerudi, we are back. Huh? Don't worry about the quality of the video. Hmm? Tunangangana. So today, let's talk about um, something that I've learned lately. Personality temperament. Woo! Personality temperament. So there's a reason for everything. Why we think the way we do, feel the way we feel, act the way we act in life. Kube, it's about uh, pa someone's personality. And what surprised me, uh, I have learned uh, lately that this personality is influenced by, by, by our genetics and also our environment that we are interacting with. So, deep into the content. Eh? So, many of the answers for human behavior can be found in people's personality temperament. Hey, it's interesting that uh, sometimes, mostly, the, our temperaments are in our DNA. They are genetically inherited behavioral tendencies and they are part of our DNA. Oh, as is the color of our hair. Eh? As is the color of our hair, DNA in the hair. Also, the personality temperaments. We get them from our parents. Imagine. But also, it, is, it can also be influenced by the environment that we are interacting with. So even even though much of our human behavior is inherited, it has also some has been influenced by and shaped by our unique environment. So this is so interesting, and I thought I should share that when you read Psalms one nineteen, verses seventy three, and you also read Psalms one thirty nine thirteen to sixteen, or also forty four, verse twenty four. It's a, most of those verses talk about how many how how human beings have been hardwired by God by our Creator. So we are not just a product of random chance. So beside the the DNA, <laughs> beside the environment that shapes this personality temperament, we also admit that God is the one who created us, and uh, we happy and we honor God. Yes. And we also know that that God also shapes. When you the, the journey of knowing God shapes us differently. We get sometimes there are people who are even mature eh, in Christianity. These people, the personalities of these two people are going to be different. And of course, the environment that we are interacting with daily and how we grew up. The environment that we interacted when we were growing, can you imagine? So talking of personality, before the only, uh, I, I, I always thought of personality as a, the classification being two, the introverts and the extroverts. Hmm. But then, something deeper I've learned lately. Niko na kakitabu hapa. Naibia. So, the scientific analysis shows that all human personalities are commonly divided up into four major categories. We have the extroverted personalities and the introverted personalities. So initially, I only knew uh, extroverts are the outgoing, the people's people, the talkers, the charmers, you know, the happy E. And the introverts being the calm, quiet, reserved. Hmm? They, 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 their energy is, is high when they are alone. Well, the extroverts draw their energy from people and crowds. Now, today, I have them in, I have classified them from the familiar uh, two that I knew, the extroverts and the introverts. So the extroverted personalities are the cholerics and the sanguines. Those are now the cholerics, this choleric and sanguine is a, a, a temperament. So we said we have four temperaments. We have choleric, we have uh, sanguine, melancholies, and phlegmatics. So those ones are the four temperaments that we are talking about today. 
So the extroverted personalities being the cholerics and the sanguine, these ones are the personality types that are more outgoing, more sociable, and they are more comfortable in the in crowds and if, if big events and they, 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 they stand out in a crowd. Well eh? when you know na eh? in, uh, in 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 people they talk a lot, they are jovial, they love fun. You know, and they I think they are just easy going, they're easy to forgive, you know, and they play around. They they love people, they love interacting. So the cholerics and the sanguines are the extroverted personality. Those temperaments are the extroverts. So when we go to the introverts, the introverted personalities are the melancholy and the phlegmatics. Eh, what when you need this came and what can I Mel and fells, <laughs> the melancholy and phlegmatics. So the this phlegmatic and melancholy, they are more shy and reserved. They feel anxious about being in crowds, and especially at being singled out in a crowd. That you know, si mama usalimi ya watu. Anashanga. They don't like. Uh, they, they don't like. They are shy. And they don't like being picked to talk or say anything in crowds. You know, they they they, they don't like uh, interacting with. They don't so much like interacting with, with with people. But that doesn't mean that they don't have a life. They do, and they have even in a circles. There are places maybe you'll meet them talking and being happy, but they are not easily sociable. When you compare them to the extroverts, the cholerics and sanguines, they make friends easily. They are cheerful. You know, they will meet a new. Uh, they will meet a new person, and they are like, eh. they already made friends. They are. They talk. They are open. On well, una patana na wawa na kupatia story. Even their personal. I, I don't know whether they have secrets. <laughs> the extroverted personalities, the cholerics and sanguines, the introverts. They love their space. They love just being alone uh, most of the times. And uh, they draw their energy. I, 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 I feel or think they draw their energy from themselves. It is with themselves that they feel complete and happy. Whereas the extroverted, the, the cholerics and sanguines draw their energy from people. They love people. They love interacting. They, and they also love attention. They are outgoing, out your mind pass bias. So I am thinking in the next episode, we can go in details to these four temperaments because uh, mostly we have uh, family and uh, friends who have, or even uh, spouses that uh, have different temperaments and we fail to understand them, the way they behave and do. So we are going to look at the, their characteristics the they are what um the things that they are able to do and they also have things that they struggle with we are going to look at that and now how how they can do uh, to to help themselves minimize their weaknesses so you are also going to look at areas to work on when you belong to a certain temperament i also learned that one can have more than one temperament for example you can be a sanguine choleric that is, if you, if you have some characteristics in the sanguine uh, uh, temperament and you have some characteristics in the choleric temperament, we can say that you are a sanguine choleric. But maybe you will have one that is strong. If you have maybe more characteristics in the sanguine, maybe the, the, the sanguine in you is, 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 is more. So you will start, if you want to share, tell someone your, your, your what, your temperament, a personality temperament, you when you start with sanguine choleric, that one means that sanguine is stronger than the choleric in you. If you want to, if you are a, a melancholy, a melancholy, um, melancholy <laughs> sanguine, for example, if the melancholy is, is 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 the characteristics in the melancholy are too much, then you're going to say that you are melancholy sanguine because the melancholy is too much in you so we are going to look at the characteristics of um, a various temperaments in in the characteristics of various temperaments in people yeah and uh, also look at uh, 
things that ca- they can do to help them uh, improve or work on their weak- weaknesses or the weak- weakest areas of the according to their temperaments we also we also going sorry we, should, we also going to look at um, examples of people in the bible like david and other uh, popular people in the bible what they did and then we classify them into temperaments for example i think david was a sanguine the way he was able to reconcile with god he would do things and he would reconcile with god very fast imagine and uh, god loved him because of the way he would do things and the way he would even go and ask for forgiveness from god i think he was a, a good friend of god and sanguines don't really struggle in forgiving but uh, it's not a must that uh, you are a sanguine and you have all the characteristics of the sanguine you know this one is uh, is a scientific study so it it must it, it is not a must that uh, you fall exactly in the, the characteristics that we are we are about to to learn but then if you have the majority in that class then we will identify you to have that tempera- personality temperament and i'm so happy guys to be back so in the next episode Let's go deep into it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.